Hey there, everybody. I hope all of you are having a sweet Sunday. It's December the 5th. My goodness, 20 days till that, um, that, um, <laughs> special or <laughs> stressful, uh, day of the year. I hope all of you are doing really well. I've got new paper collections, uh, new notebooks to go into. I call them paper collections because that's the first thing that flashed in my mind because these are a junk journal style notebooks that I put together. They are three and a half by five and a half. So it does fit the, uh, you know, if you're doing Midori Traveler's Notebooks, this is a field note sauce. If you're not, then this is a three and a half by five and a half little notepad, notebook, journal, diary, whatever your little heart desires that it should be. These are going in the shop today. They are $7.50. You get two notebooks for $7.50, handmade, handcrafted, hand cut. <laughs> Everything we do here is handmade and hand done, of course. The first set of two notebooks that we're going to look at today is called Grateful. And uh, they do, you guys, have kind of a purplish hue about them. This one has those really sweet pops of gold, and I'll show you each one. These are filled with mixed papers, drawing papers, 70-pound drawing papers, some bristle board, some 30-pound drawing paper. Um, we have vintage Messiah sheet music here. This is from a library book, and it really kind of retained that library smell. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. I love my new library. It is like a tree house with books. It's set in the woods. It's absolutely spectacular. What it does not have is the library smell. It's only like maybe five years old, so maybe it will pick up that library smell. I'm just not really sure. The library scent, you know, let's choose a better word than smell. The library scent is uh, I've heard that there are candles with the library scent. So I thought, well, that would be a fun thing to explore, you know, as I'm doing like my little holiday thingies. I have finished uh, part of that. I'm doing donations for some folks to charitable causes that are close to their heart. I'm also supporting um, a, a family and people, fam, friends that have, um, that are small makers, you know, small batch makers. Uh, one of the really cool ones is uh, Irwin Farms, and I'll put a little bit of info in the description box below so you can see they ha uh, make lavender products. Okay, so let's take a look at the second book in the Grateful Collection. Uh, there's a mushroom here. These are dogwood blossoms. You know, you just don't see dogwood blossoms on, on anything very much. We might see them. Now, here's a little imperfection right here. This was a paper imperfection. Nothing that I did to it. That was just how the paper looks. <laughs> it is, you know, if you work with paper, you're going to see a few imperfections. But you can see how this would come together so nicely as a, a dream journal, a diary, a glue book. It's so intriguing to me with all of these white spaces with this um, Messiah sheet music in here that is just absolutely stellar. Like I said, you've got 70 pound papers, you've got 30 pound papers, you might have some bristle board in here. I just kind of got out my paper collection and really just went to town and let my heart kind of guide me as to what papers I was using and how I was arranging things. They do come with a sweet little belly band right here. Again, you know, something that, uh, you know, you use what you have, right? And we had a lot of these strips left over, a lot of words left over, and this is just a very simple belly band. All right, let's take a look at the next collection is Heart. Like I said, you get two three and a half by five and a half 
handmade books. And when I say handmade, I mean the whole deal. It's hand cut. Um, I do a very basic binding right here. That's what it looks like on the spine. This is what it looks like inside. So it's very basically bound. Heart is two books that have a book theme. So hey, you know, maybe if your objective in 2022 is reading more, then these would be great little books to have. Or if you know someone who just loves to read and keeps lists of things to read or, you know, to watch. I think a lot of us are. Um, I read books, physical books. I listen to books on YouTube and on my Libby app. I also watch things on television, but it has to be specific things. I don't park myself in front of the TV and flip. I like to choose a series and I kind of stick with that. I also have a list of um, movies that make me happy or that give me joy or that inspire me. My favorite movies are uh, The Help. I like Hidden Figures. I like the proposal. I like the first part of the proposal. I like how to lose a guy in 10 days. I like nine to five. I have these movies, you know, on my watch list. And when I'm just not feeling perky or feeling a bit blue, like I need a little bit of cheering up, then I will choose a movie. I also love, love, love the movie uh, The Fifth Element. You know, just movies that are exciting and intriguing and, you know, make you feel good. Things like The Proposal are just, to me, hilarious. And uh, <laughs> I, I just think they're really funny. Okay, so this is the Heart Collection. So we've done Grateful, we've done Heart. This one is called Under the Same Sky. It does have a tree theme. And the tree is, oh, I love this paper, y'all. Um, very uh, foresty on a, you know, on a, a winter's night. You can see that the, it's very gray here. I just really think it's intriguing. And here we can see the uh, the actual tree parts. But it's these limbs that are that are just crazy intriguing to me. So you have two books here. Uh, there, we'll talk about this one in just a minute, but you can see how nicely they go together. You know, again, a journal, a dream journal. Maybe it's a nature god. Maybe um, you're using it in a field notes capacity, and you're taking this in your rucksack or in your backpack or in your cancan, and you are uh, discovering the great nature, the great outdoors. Right now, we're listening to my crackling fireplace at bing.com. talk about nature. I mean, that's just a beautiful sound. It's a crackling fireplace. Happiness is. And you can always kind of look at these and kind of pick up journal prompts. And, you know, the, the papers, because they're cardstock and they are drawing papers and they are bristleboard, it gives you the ability, you know, I, I would always, you know, if you're using any sort of media on this, I think it's really important to to go through and like do a little testing, you know. Um, if your testing goes badly, then use it as a glue book and cover up your testing. But because the pages are thick, um, they lend themselves well, you know, to sketching or, you know, maybe doing a little heavier work than, um, than you know, just pencil or light writing. Of course, you know, you, it depends on how hard you hold a, a pen um, what sort of grip you have, whether you're going to get, you know, like ghosting or bleed through or whatever. All right, let's take a look at this one. I love the, uh, I love the text here. Decide to be happy. And then it does say grateful heart. Stay close to people that lift you. There's nothing like a good friend. Chocolate can cure any gloomy mood. <laughs> so you have some really nice prompts on this 
notebook that you could possibly transfer into this notebook here. A lot of times I think that we, you know, we, we, we start journaling and then we drop off on journaling because we have to grab our journal and we have to, uh, you know, find a pen or whatever. This is a great way to journal on the go, you know, be able to grab this baby out of your bag, out of your purse, uh, off your desk, and and do some writing, some note taking. Maybe you're listing your books or your movies that make you happy. Maybe this is just about you being happy, or maybe it is, you know, defining, which is a really important word, defining what makes you happy what brings you joy. Maybe in the discovery of joy, you have to define, you know, what does not bring me joy? What am I doing a whole lot of that is not making me a happy person? And you know, we look for things outside ourselves to make us happy. <laughs> it's not it. <laughs> That is not it. You know, you got to look inside. You've got to be happy inside. You can't, um, you know, toy with circumstances and think, oh, you know, this is, this is, if this happens, then I'm going to be happy. If that happens, then I'm going to be happy. If this doesn't happen, I'm going to be happy. Nope, nope, nope. Not the way it works. This little collection is called Always. It's got a sweet little belly band up there. I like this partial key. You know, we think about the word always. This says, also says, one night, a night. And it, it says of, let things happen, um, live the moments that matter, home is the people you love, today is a chapter in the story of your life. And I love the way that these notebooks kind of go together because when you look at them, to me, this one has like a little masculine thing going on with the fleur de lay. You know, we think about the very intriguing myths and mysteries about the floor delay and the actual history. You know, if, if you have, uh, you know, New Orleans, you, you definitely see this a lot in New Orleans homes, decor everywhere in New Orleans. So let's take a look at floor delay right here in the Always collection. While we're listening to our fire. Again, these books are three and a half by five and a half. They are seven dollars and fifty cents. The mailing on them is five dollars. Uh, mm, well, I'm not sure if when um, I, I will go, I will ship next week. But, um, you know, you, you guys will just have to come and stay posted on shipping becomes a nightmare this time of year. It's usually um, three to five days on shipping. I don't ship from home. A package and take them to the post office. That's just kind of how things work here. And there we go. Okay, this collection is always. Belly band. Pretty tight on that one. Oops. Hold on, I can do it. And the fun thing is, if if you have something with a belly band on it, to me, when you when you kind of crack into these and take this off, it's like, and I like if I'm working with something that has a belly band, I like to leave it together and to complete it because this also acts as a closure for your books. You know, your belly band does. All right, friends. I have this first little collection to go into the Etsy store. Um, should be there in about 10 minutes or so, maybe 15, maybe 20, maybe 30. You know how the day goes. And um, so we've got these going in the Etsy store. 
thank you so much for supporting small batch making. And even if you don't support me, support someone in the small batch industry. It's really important that we support our USA artists and people who are um, using their time and effort and energy and heart to make wonderful things for y'all. See you later, peoples. Bye.